Hey guys, welcome to your unit eight. So this is targets one through three. Um, I apologize, just the writing and the sound quality might be a little bit worse than you're used to, um, but hopefully you can still hear me, you can still understand what I'm writing, all that good stuff. So we're going to start off with a couple different evaluation targets. So target one is I can evaluate an exponential function. So what this means is, um, you guys have actually done this before, we're going to take the value in parentheses and plug it in for x. Um, the only difference is that our x is going to be in our exponent because we are dealing with exponential functions to start off with. So on a, when it says f of x equals 2 to the x power and we're evaluating f of um, f, or sorry, f of 3. That means we are saying, okay, x equals 3, so we're going to plug that in for the x in the function. So really, all we're evaluating is 2 to the third power, which remember is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Make sure you don't do 2 times 3, which is 6. And you can use your calculator to help you if you want. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to kind of facilitate these without a calculator just because you do have some really good knowledge of rules of exponents at this point. So um, we're going to try to use those. So here on B when it says G of negative 1, that means we're going to make X equal to negative 1 and plug that in for X up here. So really what we're evaluating is negative 1 third to the negative first power. Now, if you remember from last unit, a negative power means you take the reciprocal. So to, to the negative first, we just take the reciprocal, leave that negative out in front, and we get negative 3. But like I said before, if you prefer to use your calculator, that is a totally fine way to go about this. All right, so on C, we're given h of x, and we're evaluating h of negative 4. So that means x equals negative 4. Plug that in up here. So we have 2 times 1 half to the negative 4. So again, I'm trying to do this without a calculator. So we have 2 times, and then if you have 1 half to the negative 4, that means you take the reciprocal and you make your exponent positive. So this would be 2 times 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. And I just want to emphasize one more time that you can use your calculator if you prefer to go about it that way. All right, so here we're plugging in x equals 5 up here. So that would be 5 to the 5 minus 3 plus 3. So that exponent, 5 minus 3, would be 2. So 5 squared plus 3. So 5 squared is 25, plus 3 is 28. Okay, so on that first target, you're just doing that plugging in, um, but you're doing it with an exponential function, which means you're always plugging into your calculator, or sorry, um, into your exponent, but you can use your calculator if you want to. So target 2 is another evaluation target, but now we're going to talk about logarithms, which is a new topic for you guys. So um, the directions here, they give you lots of different um, things to be thinking about. So, for example, it tells you that log base b of y equals x, and it also tells you log base b of y equals x if and only f, if b to the x equals y. So, I don't know about you guys, but I get kind of, kind of confused when it gives me, um, like, all those variables. So, I'd like to just get into the examples and kind of show you how this works. So log, so the way I would say this first problem, and this should be A, the first, uh, or the way I would say A would be log base 4 of 64. So the way you evaluate a logarithm is a little bit like a puzzle. What you're going to do is take that small number, which is 4, and you're going to think about 4 to what power gives you 64. So this is a little bit of guess and test. So for example, if I wanted to try like a two, that's a two, that wouldn't make a true statement, would it? Because four to the second power is not 64, it's 16. So then you could try another number. So for example, we could try three and you could use your calculator to help you. And you would find that four to the third power is 64. 
So your answer is whatever that missing exponent is. So log base 4 of 64 equals 3. That's our final answer is 3. So then on B, same idea. We have log base 5 of 0 0.2. So that means 5 to what power equals 0 0.2. Now, I'm going to give you a hint here because 0 0.2 as a fraction is actually just 1 over 5. So we're trying to figure out what exponent would change a 5 into 1 over 5. Well, something that we just talked about above is if we use that negative exponent, specifically a negative 1, that takes the reciprocal of our number. So that means our missing exponent to make this a true statement is negative 1. All right, then we have log base 1 fifth of 125. So 1 fifth to what power equals 125? So I'm going to actually use very similar thinking to what I did on B. Um, so I actually know off the top of my head that 5 to the third power is 125. And if you didn't know that, of course, your calculator is going to be a great help here. So what I'm noticing on this problem is it says 1 fifth. It doesn't say 5. But if I wanted to change that 1 fifth into 5 over 1, I could use a negative exponent. And I could say the missing exponent is a negative 3, because that's going to take the reciprocal of 1 fifth, which is 5, and then take it to the third power to get to 125. So the last tricky case is over here on D, and that would be log base 36 of 6 equals what? So another way to say this is 36 to what power equals 6? And so for this one, I'm recognizing that the square root of 36 is 6. But I have to use an exponent. And if you guys remember um, from before spring break, we said that an exponent of 1 half is the same as taking the square root. So that means our missing exponent is 1 half. So um, just to kind of outline some different things here. So the first case that you could come across is kind of a straightforward case like we had on A, where it's just a positive exponent, a positive whole number. Don't forget, like on B and C, that if you have a negative exponent, it means you take the reciprocal of the number. And the last kind of tricky case is if you notice that the relationship is a square root, you can use that exponent of 1 half. So this whole idea of logarithms and just the way that this is written is new to you guys. This is something that's covered um, quite in depth on the ACT. Um, but you'll notice that there's some relationship between a logarithm and an exponential function like we had above. So in target three, you're actually not coming up with any new material on your own. What you're doing here is just converting between the two forms. So a true statement in logarithmic form is log base two of eight equals three. And we're gonna write that same statement, but we're gonna write it in exponential form. And so what I like to use, it's called the loop-de-loop, -loop, and um, it creates a spiral. So it kind of is like the pattern in which you would write your numbers in exponential form. So you always start at the first number, which would be the 2, and then you spiral to the last number and then hit the middle number. So you guys can kind of see how that creates a spiral. So if I were to write those in the order in which I crossed them, I hit the 2 first. So 2, I hit the 3 second, 2 to the third power is 8. And notice that that is a true statement, so it makes sense that that's the exponential form. So for example, if I forgot the order and I write 8 squared equals 3, well that's not true. So obviously that's not the correct um, form. So I'm going to actually hop down here to where it says log base 12 of 12 equals 1. And I'm going to go ahead and do that one in exponential form. So following that same idea of the loop-de-loop, -loop, um, so the first number is a 12, second number is a 1, 
third number is also a 12. 12 to the first power is 12. That's a true statement. So pretty clear that that is going to be our answer. So that's how you go from logarithmic form to exponential form. To go from exponential to logarithmic, you actually do the same idea. The spiral is just a little bit tighter and smaller. So the first um, thing you would write is log, since we're in logarithmic form. And the first number that we hit is a 4. So log base 4, second number is of 1, equals 0. And kind of going back to the target we just covered, 4 to what power equals 1? 4 to the 0 power equals 1. So you can use that same idea that we talked about. All right, and then the last one, so create your spiral, and this would be log base 1 fourth would be the first number, that's a 1 fourth, of 4 equals negative 1. So on this target, you just have that pattern, there's that spiral that can take you from logarithm to exponential or from exponential to logarithm, just use that spiral. And that's your notes for targets 1 through 3.